Hey everyone, Effie here. Today I'm introducing our postage daisies layering stencils, which we will blend right onto our postage party die cut. I place the die cut onto our seven by nine inch grip mat, place stencil one over the die cut, and then I'm going to blend the entire stencil with our peach blossom dye ink and our wide flat stencil brush. Before I take the stencil off, I'm going to place our corner guides onto opposite diagonal corners and then I'm going to take off the stencil and place stencil number two right inside the corner guides. The reason why we need the corner guides is because to align the stencils, each subsequent layer or stencil needs to be placed in the same position or place as the previous stencil. So these corner guides are very, very handy. So for the second layer, I used our Coraline Hybrid ink, which is our mid-tone ink. I took off stencil two, replaced it with stencil three by putting it inside the two corner guides and then I blended this third petal layer with our coral cavern dye ink and our standard size brush which is slightly smaller than our wide flat brush. When I have to get into smaller more narrow intricate areas for blending I like to use smaller size brushes to really get into those nooks and crannies. So after I finish blending stencil three I replace it with stencil four which has two elements. There are the daisy centers which I use amber citrine and then evergreen ink for for the foliage. The areas of the daisy centers have etched circles around them so you know exactly where you need to do your selective ink blending. And that is how you blend our new postage daisy stencils which are available to ship immediately. Head to the blog for more details.